Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. K here. I wanted to share with you a new project for us. We're going to be talking about the Italian painter Giuseppe Archimboldo. He was born on April 5th in 1526 in Milan, Italy, and he did artwork that looked like this picture. He painted paintings that had pictures made of other things. Um, he was part of the period of art called Mannerism, and he did portraits. We'll talk about that, too. A little bit about his work. Uh, again, he created portrait heads entirely of things, such as fruits and vegetables, flowers, fish, and even books. And when we think of a portrait, it's a picture of a person, of course. When you get your picture taken at school or your parents take your picture, it's a portrait of you. If you take one of yourself, it's obviously a self-portrait, correct? So we think about the parts of a face or a portrait, and we think of the head shape. There's lots of different head shapes. We think about the different parts uh, when we look at a person's face. Either it's a front view or a profile. Profile is coming from the side. We think about the parts on a face. We think of eyes and eyebrows, mouths, noses, hair, ears, neck, etc. So these are just some basic ideas of what some of those items that are on a face look like. We're going to be working with the idea of collage today. We're not going to paint like Giuseppe did, but we're going to use collage. And collage is when you cut things out using scissors very carefully and you use glue and you glue them down on a piece of paper. So let's get started today, and we'll look back at the picture that I have here. If you notice the picture, I started out with a background, and that's a big picture of a hamburger. Um, and that's my background part. But I cut all these things out of different magazines and circulars from the food store, things that you get in the mail. So hopefully you'll be able to find some of those items. So I did one already. I cut, I did this picture, but we're going to work on one together and we're just going to do the layout. And that's when you get it all put together, but you didn't glue it down yet. So you want to make kind of a rough copy. So I'm going to put my paper down. I'm going to lift all my little pieces that I cut from the circulars and magazines. Uh oh, I forgot my tomatoes here and other stuff. Let's see. I think this is a piece of cauliflower. Yep. Yep. It is a piece of cauliflower being very healthy. Let me put my background paper here. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up with a background paper first to your picture. So I'll put my paper down. Now of the ones that I have here, I have some big papers from magazines and I want to cover up those words. Um, I also have some bigger things I cut out like this skillet. This might be a good background for a face, a good face background maybe this way. Or maybe I just want to draw a shape of a face and just put the parts on it that look like it. Maybe an eye, I can make a big eye and a small eye. You can do whatever you want, but you're going to be able to cut them out of magazines or circulars. Now you notice on this one, I rough cut it. I still have to cut the details there. That's where you're going to have to be very careful with your scissors. And that's where we're going to work on our scissor skills. And when we cut anything, of course, we have to ask permission that we're cutting something out that our parents don't mind. When we cut, we actually cut with this part here, not the tip. And we have our cutting hand, and this hand stays still. So when we cut, we're very careful, and we're going around the edges. And we can cut that scrap off. I'm turning it that way. I'm not, I'm not turning my hand this way. I'm cutting straight. Uh, this is my steering hand. Going up and down. So say this was a part I wanted to use. I'm going to put the scrap over here. I'm going to put that aside. But back to our background, because Mrs. K got distracted by all this food. I'm really hungry. Um, I have this lobster picture. Maybe this might be a good background to have on there. So maybe I'm just going to rough lay it out. I'm not gluing it down yet. And when you use the glue stick, be careful. Maybe I'll have that as my background. And maybe what I'll do is I'll have this as the face shape. Now I have to look at my items and think about, you know, what do I need? I need eyes, I need a mouth, things like that. Maybe I want to have my eyes made out of something else. 
Here's a picture of some grapes. Maybe I'll make my eye shape out of that. Remember on the paper I showed you, a shape of an eye looks kind of like an almond shape or a football shape. So maybe I'll cut out an eye shape this way. One unhappy face, and then I'll do an unhappy face. So maybe that's one eye. Boop. And maybe I want to have one that looks like it's kind of two colors, like this. And let's see, make an unhappy face this way. So I made it look like a football. Let me get my scraps out of here. Oh, my grapes are being eaten by my lobster. So maybe I want to have it, uh, I'll have it that way. Uh, okay, then I need a nose. Got to find something I have that might work with the nose shape. Hmm. Well, I definitely saw something cool for my neck. Maybe I'll use this big thing of mayonnaise down here, where that looks like the outfit. And let me look what else I could do for a nose. Mrs. K's looking for something. I think I'm going to use that as the nose, like a big nose. That's a mango. And then I need something for the mouth. So I'm going to cut out something from one of my items here. I'm going to look for, oh, here's ham. Oh, there's a big piece of chocolate. Look at that. Or a cookie. I think I'm going to use this cookie. That's good. Let's see. Okay. Ready? I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this for my smiley face. And maybe I have this. Oh, let me... I'm working out my design and then I'm going to glue it. There we go. Get my... Let's see, give you a better view there. Oh, there you go. So I'm just kind of working out my design first and I think I like the way I have it. The things I forgot so far are eyebrows, so I might cut them out of the ham pieces here. So remember, eyebrows are like kind of a flat rainbow. Maybe I'll do one there. And then I'll do another rainbow shape for an eyebrow. Over here. And that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to keep that. This person looks pretty funny. I could put ears and hair and things like that, but now you get the idea. Now I could change it up completely, take it off because I didn't glue it down yet, and rearrange it if I want to. I could make all my items go in the middle here. But when you do, set it up the way you want it and then start to glue it down one at a time. You glue your background down and all your pieces for that. So hopefully that will help you make a picture like Giuseppe Archimboldo, um, the Italian painter. If you get a chance to look up his work, I'm going to try to put some uh, some of his pieces on my website so you can enjoy some of his artwork. But he's a wonderful artist, and I hope you enjoy.